Yo, what's up everybody? Happy spring. Good times are coming. There we go. Uh, maybe I'll raise that up a little bit. start today where we left off yesterday we just finished the Twilight Palace so now we can go to the cave of ordeals Ooh. <laughs> I need arrows what else do I need I could probably get rid of the lantern oil and get something else in there, right? We're gonna go up against 50 enemies. I don't know how much how Fairy's Tears will give us. I don't know. I know the fairy will bring me back to life if I die. And the superb soup will give me eight hearts. Maybe I'll try to empty out the lantern oil. So that's a B. And I don't know if I can just empty the jar into the lantern, even if the lantern's not empty. But I'm gonna go ahead and let the lantern run out. And we'll go ahead and use lantern oil to empty out that jar. We'll go back to Snow Peak. And see if we can get some more soup. Or maybe I'll just go to a shop. And buy a potion. Because I don't think I've bought anything like that yet. We have a thousand rupees. So we can use our magic armor. I'm guessing is something I should use in the Cave of Ordeals. I don't know what's in my eyes, sorry. Oh wow, I've been looking at the... where it says hit B to use the lantern. I didn't realize that the oil was underneath my health. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know if I can buy arrows at the shops either. Alright, let's go there, put that there, back. There we go. Put that away. Let's get that and that and that. Um, let's warp to... Now that we have collected every single item within the game, we can collect some of the last remaining collectibles to gear ourselves for the final dungeon. Speak with Minda and warp to Hurudo Mesa. The Cave of Ordeals is right next to the warp point. Run down the steps to enter the dungeon. Okay, so I don't want to do that yet. Let's go to Castle Town. And see if I can stock up on arrows or... Anything, really. I said I might see if I can get a potion in that empty jar. I could probably just run around and cut grass to try to get arrows and stuff, right? Maybe. 
Actually, the only shop that I know that is around here is Mallow's. Thank you. How are you? How is your meeting? Uh, I can get 10 of those and I can hold a hundred. Cost five rupees. That's not bad. No, what? What are you talking about? Thinks we have the 12, 22, 32, 42, 52. 62, 72, 82, 92. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You need to shave? I figured it's spring, right? Happy first day of spring. Time for change. A restorative elixir recommended for those who do not feel 100%. Requires an empty bottle. Feature fi oh wait, that one's 50 rupees. Just one bottle is the perfect pick-me-up. Requires an empty bottle. So what's the difference between red and blue? Ah uh, yeah, spring has sprung. <laughs> well, we don't have magic, so... There's only two seasons in Miami, so I hardly pay attention. <laughs> I feel like Chicago's the same. We go straight from winter to summer. It's 48 degrees here right now. So, big warm up. I guess I'll take the blue. Two seasons, by the way, are summer and less summer. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see if we can. I spent a hundred rupees. Summer and less summer. That's <laughs> That's awesome. Your AC, these AC is still working, right? I hope. every day it goes to 80 and above average oh gotcha i'm not gonna wait for you <laughs> i would like to have full rupees for this right maybe not you know, let's just work to Gerudo Mesa. Kind of nervous about this. 50, 50 floors. And this guy is like, I'm not going to give you a uh, detailed how to. I'll just tell you what enemies are in each floor. Uh, speak with men and warp over to the Hurudo Mesa. The cave of ordeals is right next to the warp point. Run down the steps to enter the dungeon. Run down what steps? Oh, hey, look at that. There's steps. These steps, maybe? <laughs> Your power is a gift given only to those with confidence to wield it. Yo, look a raptor. What's up? How you doing? Good to see you. It's a gift given to only 
those who can wield it confident enough to whatever the cave of ordeals is a completely optional quest but it is necessary in order to fully complete the game and specifically collect the final three poe souls yay <laughs> The Cave of Ordeals consists of 50 floors, which increase in difficulty greatly as you progress. They really do start off really easy and then get ridiculously hard. I suggest, I highly suggest that you have four bottles filled with potion, have a good amount of bombs and arrows, already have the magic armor, and have nearly full rupees. Every tenth floor that you reach, Link will find a great fairy. Speaking with her will release fairies to various portions of Hyrule. Every 10th floor you will also need an item to progress. Since we have all the items, this is not a problem. Okay. Rather than give in-depth strategy on how to defeat every enemy on every floor, I'll just be giving a listing of which enemies appear on which floor. There are no new enemies in the Cave of Ordeals that we have not seen outside of the cave, so there are no surprises. Run forward, drop down to what is the first floor of the Cave of Ordeals. And room one is one Oak Hoblin. Okay, we've got full health. We have full arrows. We got our shield. We got our Master Sword. Alright, room one. Don't take damage there. A yellow rupee. Okay, maybe we can get more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Loco Raptor? Okay, room two or three keys and three rats. Glad you're good. I am great, thank you. Just trying to get through the cave of board Shields, why are you not spinning? Everything's good. Everything's good. They're not going to give me any hearts, are they? How's this game going? We are towards the end. I'm hoping that we finish it today 100%. We've got the Cave of Ordeals that we're in. And then... Um, Hyrule Castle. And I am loving this game. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, four of these dudes. Well, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do either. <laughs> but you know what? Since that worked... Hope it goes well. This game is quite tough. <laughs> What do you mean less than Ocarina of Time? Ocarina of Time is one of the best. <laughs> I don't know, we're playing on the Wii. <laughs> The motion controls of, oh man, the city in the sky, that was probably the worst with the motion controls. Three Sculptula. And they get open. Yay, okay. Bulblin Archer. We got three Bulblin Archers. You'd like to play it on the Switch or something? It's not on the Switch though. There's been rumor of it though, right? That they're going to port this and Wind Waker to the Switch. I hope they do. I really want to play Wind Waker, but I'd like to do it on the Switch as well. I'll probably stay up here and hit them. 
Instead of taking damage, <laughs> I made that way more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> Lost almost two hearts, and we're only in room six. Nine fire slugs. Well, this should be easy enough, right? Two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. There's the ninth one. Oh, is there some? Okay. Five fire keys and two Dodongo. They should just make a Nintendo Game Pass type deal with all the retro games. That would be awesome. I feel like they could do... Just a Zelda release with all of them, right? Crap. One... Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Well known vintage, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Now that I have a job and career, I'd like to go back and play a lot of the games I never had the opportunity to play as a child. But I didn't have a 64 Wii or any- What systems did you have as a kid? See? No, oh, no, no. How you doing, well-known vintage? Hope you're having a good day. Trying maybe the first day of spring? It's the first day of spring here. Very windy too. Six tech tight, that should be easy enough, right? Been doing another playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Nice! How's that going? Oh, come on. What? Really? Really? <laughs> yeah, I've been having fun. Awesome. We have PlayStation 1 and 2, Xbox 360, GameCube, Game Boy Color, and Advance, and Xbox One. You were so deprived as a kid. <laughs> I played Link's Awakening DX, the one that they put on Switch for the, I think it was Game Boy Color. Oof. Actually just played it. Yeah, just played it. Right be, I think we played that right before we started this. The remake is so much fun and cute though. I do want to play the remake, definitely. 
you're not deprived at all, but there's a lot of old school Nintendo games you missed as a child, for sure. Xbox and PlayStation. See, I was the opposite. I was more... Oh, Nintendo and PlayStation. Really? One arrow kills him, but I gotta sit there and lose half a heart. Darn it. No, get it, get it. Yeah. They made it super cute. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, hey. You can get arrows back. Take arrows back. Get all of them back. Now that I have a Switch, but only certain games are made available. Do your best to play those, though. Oh, now they have a... Got it, got it. What did we just do? Six Tech Titan. Under Room 9! Two Boblin Archer and two Lizolfo. I am pointing at the screen. Oh, that doesn't kill him? That was a headshot. down here. There's also supposed to be two archers down here. I was hoping to kill the archers before I hop down, but alright. Okay. 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 Get it. Yeah, I got it. You've played Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Minish Cap, thanks to the Switch. I'm very thankful for. Wait, they have Ocarina of Time on the Switch? Oh, right, 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 because of the 64 release, yeah. Majora's Mask and Breath of the Wild. Which one's your favorite so far that you've played? Majora's Mask was the hardest for you. You could barely finish it. But you finished it! <laughs> Great Fairy releases fairies to the Ordon Spring. Spinner needed. <laughs> you gotta finish the thought, right? She's not as creepy as an Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. Stuff between the remake of Link's Awakening and Minish Cap. Man, I need to play both of those. <laughs> Welcome, hero, to the Cave of Ordeals. I am the Great Fairy. I reign over all fairies of this realm as their queen. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Ordon Spring. From this point on, you'll have need of the ancient power that allows one to walk along a cliff without a single foothold. If you want to give up the fight for now and go re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely speak to me. Probably the remake of Link's Awakening, but I enjoy them both a lot. Um, I have some of it. I didn't pay the extra for the 64 stuff for the Game Boy Advance. Whoa. I thought I was going to have to use the spinner. Says Hellmauser, 15 rats and 3 Hellmauser. Awesome. 
Let me see if I can find the rats first. Which I think they found me. Oh, we almost have full health. Oh, we definitely will have full health here. Or full rupees, I mean. No! No! Why do I keep getting hit by these giant rats? You get it through your friend who has a family plan and just added you? I'm sure where your account you just add you to it so you play all of them. That's very nice of you, King. That's cool that your friend does that. I actually got the first year for free through Star Girl. She was on a family plan, so she gave me hers. And then I just renewed it after that. Oh, do I need the spinner? Okay. We're gonna have to use the spinner to get up to... That is very kind of you though, I appreciate that. It's really dark, I can't tell if that's the way that I'm supposed to go. Oh, maybe I need to drop down here. Oh, everybody eats! <laughs> Large purple chew. Just one of them? I thought it was supposed to get harder as we go. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's why it's such a big deal, huh? But it splits. Is that it? I want to say that flag is France. Oh, that's not. Oh, it's E. What's E? <laughs> On chatbot, it shows as like. I'm pretty sure that's the French flag. Uh. Oh, everybody, e, e, I gotcha. That's cool. <laughs> Community, one of us, one of us. Oh, chew worm. I should be using this, right? I'm hoping that I can get through like 30 floors before having to switch over to the magic armor. I hope. <laughs> 15 bubbles. You started your channel with the goal of helping others grow and connecting people under the motto everyone everybody eats. So that's what I truly try to do. That is awesome. I mean that's what Twitch is all about, right? Or what it should be about anyway. We're all here to have fun and play video games. We may as well hang out and <laughs> be a community. I think that's awesome that you do that. Oof. I was sitting there trying to spin. Oh, I have to say, it feels good to meet people that feel that way. Because I've met a lot of people that don't feel that way and I kind of put a bad taste in my mouth for a while. So thank you for giving me hope again. <laughs> Ten Bokoblin. <laughs> hmm, probably did. Whoops. I haven't been getting arrows here though, so maybe I shouldn't waste them.
Ooh. Literally, I have no time for drama or negative energy. Like, the internet is a place for you to be your true self and find like minded friends. So, if there's people like that, I just shut them out real quick. I don't have the heart. Like, there's people that is like, okay, ban you, but like, I wish I would have sooner. Because, like, the whole like, let everyone be themselves thing is like okay but then i find like that drives people away too like there's got to be that line right we deal with enough drama and negative energy in real life don't come to twitch and online communities to find more exactly exactly eight peace and eight rats oh you know what can i work they can. <laughs> they can be themselves if they're negative people, just not around me. Right, find somewhere else to do that. Oh, did you actually hit me? Here, another one. Where are you? That sounds like a door open. It's not around me. Stall hound, ten stall hounds, and one po. You got the Poe soul collecting one from collect one from each Poe you defeat. I think I should have been doing that the whole time. Just dropping down and getting Minnesota. I think we're only missing two Poe soul now, and we'll have them all. Ten levers. I don't remember what the levers are. That's funny, I was just on the phone before coming in here. I'm saying that basically what you're saying. Like this is a place to play video games and have fun and like forget about the outside world, right? Enjoy a nice game. <laughs> Why can't we be friends? <laughs> Purple Chew. Oh, really? Shouldn't it be? <laughs> oh, I forgot that I can't just keep doing that. I am losing so much health. stuff. Holy cow. I just gravity towards streams like yours that aren't super loud. I know there's people who love energetic crazy type energy but when I'm just relaxing and watching video games I can do without all the loud noises. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's I know I'm old but like the 90s when you would get just a couple friends over and hang out that's what I want the vibes to be like chill, play some video games, have fun. I remember when I was real little, 
one of the ladies that used to babysit me had five kids and then they had all their friends over and it was just it was a circus and I always left there with a migraine because it was just too much I don't want the loud running around screaming just have fun and play games I am so glad that they changed the way that the great fairy looks here because she was really creepy in Ocarina of Time <laughs> I am impressed that you made it this far, hero. Oh, see, hero. Hero, you should not be impressed. <laughs> this is what I do. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Faron Spring. From this point on, you'll have need of the power that allows one to break through massive frozen blocks of ice. If you want to give up the fight for now and go re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely speak to me. No, no. But can I stand here and regain health? No. But I can stand in the other springs. <laughs> what a crack. Alright, well... 20 out of the 50 floors are done. I guess it's calling them rooms here. The room 21. Five Bokoblin and five Ice Kings. Where's my way out? I appreciate that. Thank you, and I'm glad you like it. I want to shoot him with arrows. Kinda. Do I want to waste 53 arrows? No. <laughs> I wish I could target him from up here. I guess I can stop running towards <laughs> all the rupees. We have full rupees. Okay, so now I need... Okay. Um, I think I'll put the bow back, though. Unless maybe I need that. Five keys, ten rats, and ghoul rat. I wonder if that giant ball and chain would get rid of a bunch of them. It takes a while to. to use, though, to throw it. No! <laughs> it's just red. Oh no, no. Forgot about the ghoul rats. <laughs> Oh, right there. Oh, okay. okay, now the door's opening. Sweet. 30 mini Stalfos. What are the mini Stalfos? 30 of them. I feel like I should stay as the wolf. Okay. Five re dead. I think I could one shot the re dead with the ball and chain. Oh, oh, they 
their screams, that's great. So it's not really a one shot. It's on the way there and on the way back. Okay. Room 25. 10 Bulblin, 3 Bulblin Archers. I feel like I already hear, hear the archers shooting. are there? Three. Where are the other two? Oh, well, there's one. <laughs> oh no, you missed someone? Where are you? No. <laughs> I don't want to use the bottle of health yet. Three Stalfos for room twenty-six. Hey, we're halfway through. I I need the bombs for them. I was like, oh, good, we're done. Please get two of them. What? Okay, so I took a little bit of damage there. Totally forgot that I had to blow them up with bombs. Um, four bubbles and three sculptula. I just blow them up? Sort out of the ground. <laughs> So far, so good. Cool. Uh, two Lizolfo and ten Bokoblin. I wonder if I could just throw a bomb down there.
Okay, that helped. I don't think anyone's near it. No. I think throwing the bomb down helped. Four fire bubble, two stealpo, fifteen mini stealpo. Maybe throwing the bombs will help again. May as well try it, right? Transform into Wolf Link. Oh, wait, I'm going to need the bombs to blow them up, right? Hopefully that'll blow both of them up. Yay! <laughs> what did we just do? Are we into the next great fairy? Are we into room 30 already? Already, we've been playing for an hour. <laughs> Yay! I'm impressed that you made it this far, hero. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Elden Spring. From this point on, you will have need of the power that allows one to become master of lifeless statues. If you want to give up the fight for now and go re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely speak to me. Okay, on to room 31. Five Bemo statue and six keys. Well, I'm glad I didn't waste all of my arrows. I still have arrows, right? Yeah. Because I don't know how else I would destroy those. Oh, maybe the ball and chain. You know what, I'm going to try that first. Oh, what was it? Six keys, five Bemo statue. Of course, the statues are all over the place. No, that does not work. Is that the last one? That was the last one. Uh, oh, I don't want to, but we're gonna do... Oops. Shoot. And get eight hearts back.
Okay. Uh, five fire slug, five fire keys, two dodongo, five fire bubble. I forgot I need the... Uh, this thing. Can I say that's what I needed? Oh, no, no. No? What did I say I needed? Dominion Rad needed. Oh, maybe I need to take them off of the switches. Gotcha. Okay. Now what am I meant to do? Um, can I hit these? Five fire slugs. Yeah, five fire keys. I took any damage there. I think we're okay. Uh, four redead and one postal. Soul, collect one from each bow you defeat. That gives us 59. We're only missing one. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so now we go on to 10 ghoul rat and purple chew. Doesn't tell me how many. Just says that they will combine. all of them okay uh six ice keys and a freeze i think the freeze art i needed ball and chain right maybe i 
Yes. No! Get up, get up, get up, get up! I think those are the little dudes that we just took care of. Couldn't have gone from that to the Freezard though. I feel like the Freezard would be more difficult than for Chill Foes. Chill Foes aren't what I thought they were. Never mind. bubble and 10 lever oh okay, yeah we should be able to do that with the sword I hope <laughs> uh, room 38. Three ice bubble, three ice keys, four chilfos, and two freezard. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's try throwing some bombs down there. I'll put it to that. <laughs> well, it felt damage to him, but it didn't do what I was hoping it would. Bogus. Okay, let's see what. Actually, how many hearts do I have? Yeah, I've only got four. Let's see what the blue potion does. Takes us back to full health. All right, cool. Uh, I don't remember what that one was. Two dark nut, I think, is next. I don't remember what the dark nut are. Okay. 
Okay. strategy for them. I really don't like that there's two of them. Attacking and jump like I'm trying to tell you to. We could be doing better. I could get them apart from each other. Because I feel like one's blocking for both of them. Would you stop jumping and do that? That's what I wanted. I can't even tell if I'm getting anything out of it. to Z target. Uh, why aren't you doing the attack? This is where playing it for GameCube would have been so much nicer. Shield attack. Come on. 
Man. Gotta try to get more rupees saved up now. <laughs> Just so I can do that again. I'm glad I didn't waste all of our hearts. Just half of our rupees. I wish these great fairy places would heal us too. you made it this far, hero. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Laneru Spring. From this point on, you will have need of the power that allows one to move freely from wall to wall. If you want to give up the fight for now and go re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely add speak to me. Um, no, but I'm wondering if I would start back here if I did leave or if I'd have to start over. I'd probably have to start over. Okay, nine Armos Knight for room 41. We're down to the last nine rooms. I mean, room 50 is another great fairy, so do I really count that? Oh, man. Nine armor Knight. I don't remember what those are. Okay. Should be able to get rid of those with that, right? Oh, no, 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 no. around. Grab that because we need... I need more rupees for later, right? I'll try to just activate one at a time. so that we don't trigger the other three. <laughs> I feel like at this point I should just go ahead and wake up the other one. <laughs> oh, get bent. Let's 
six Bokoblin and six Baba Serpents written in the next room. Get out of there. What do I have? I got like two bottles left. Wrong button. Yeah, I've got two bottles left. I don't know what the fairy's tears will do. I've got nothing set to down. I guess I need the claw shot, so I may as well do that. Not what I wanted. I'm pointing at the screen. Okay. Uh, six Bokoblin, six Bobs. You know what? Let's try... Yo, thank you for hanging out, Loka Raptor. Always good to see you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Where did that land? Not where I needed it to. Alright, you know what? Let's of the uh, poopies too, right? Especially when there's gold ones here. Oh, come on. I feel like they're easing up. Like, oh, come on. <laughs> a blue ruby. I was so worried about trying to save health. One, two, three, four, five. We still have five hearts. All right. Five Lizolfo and eight Bulban Archer. Uh-oh. Got me. I don't know if that helped at all. I think it did, though. Sorry, do I need the claw shot to take off their armor? I wonder if I could just... I 
Sweet. Got any of them? Oh, come on. I get 60 posols. No, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. left and then the final great fairy <laughs> I guess it's time to figure out what the fairy tears do let me full health okay two bubbling archer five re dead and a purple chew indeed. No! Stop it! No, that's not what I wanted to do! No! Okay, well don't do that. And we just used our last fairy. I meant to use... Well, apparently I should have done this before. Ah, damn it. for health now is the magic armor. That's brutal. That is brutal. Okay. Room 46. Three Chilfos, two Freezard, and Ghoul Rat. Let's see what I can do from up here. if I can use
It doesn't seem to be killing them now. Get the rupee, get the rupee, get the rupee. <laughs> Oh, they're on me. I didn't even realize they were on me. Uh, one bow goblin, five mini stalfos, ten rats. I've got bombs connected with my arrows, right? I only have 18 arrows left, though. Oh my god. The next two rooms are gonna be brutal. One bow goblin, five mini stalfos, ten rats. <laughs> Have as many of these as you can because we are going to need so much help with the magic armor in the last two. Oh, crap. Oh, missed it. got nothing right now all four bottles are empty okay one dark nut two arrow pulse uh, I think that means I need that and then the last room is three dark nut and I have nothing to heal nothing to heal and it took me 500 rupees to get through two dark night <laughs> not do anything to him I don't think that is. I don't think it's doing anything to him. I can't use the magic armor yet. I'm gonna have to. I have to.
I should have been able to hit you there. It's a game. for that. This is the last room. Whoops, way too soon. I mean, like a per or an orange rupee. I mean, orange rupee. Eleven. <laughs> through a second time that's just brutal i wish i wouldn't have had the purple chew and i know what it was i scooped it and used it and lost all of my health i bet we could have made it through here if i wouldn't have done that That is so brutal. So brutal. <laughs> All right, well, you know, what can I do, right? I could look up a strategy for him, but... Man, three of these dudes. Can I hit them with the... Oh wait, that's not what I need. 
can I hit them with the bomb arrows? No, I think he's blocking it. Where's the third one? I wish I could see them. <laughs> working too. What a crack. I wonder if that would work. Is that working? I think he's blocking it. Down to a heart, and I have. Oh, and no bombs, no bombs, and no bombs. This is where we're getting out. Wish I could have stayed on the top. Oh, that's probably why I got hit. The dude lost his armor and threw his sword. No! 
there's two rupees per second though. Is it gonna take me? It's gonna take me back to room one, isn't it? I wanna see if I have to do all the rooms over or if it lets me go back to like room 41, maybe. It makes me start over. That was two hours. Okay, so. Don't scoop purple chew. I can't believe I gotta do all that over again. Do I though? Do I? Because as your reward for reaching the 50th floor, the Great Fairy will give you the Great Fairy's Tears. Once completed the Cave of Ordeals, you will appear at Laneru Spring. Walk up to the fairies and use an empty bottle to catch fairies. I mean, I can get fairies anywhere else. We have 60 Po. Do I actually have to finish it? I know it's all optional. I want to do it again. Like I said, we have all the Poe. It's all optional. I know I can stand in the spring here and fill our health. Now look, we get fairies here too. So what? There's one one pond, whatever, where I won't be able to catch fairies. I'm okay with that, honestly. So we 99.9% of the game. We didn't 100% because of one room. One room, and my mistake of drinking purple chew juice. say we go catch 
four fairy bottles. Four fairies and bottles and finish the game. That's what I think. Okay, we have full health. I don't need to like sneak up on him, do I? You got a fairy in a bottle! Alright. Got a fairy in a bottle. Whoops, my button. A fairy in a bottle. All right, one more. We'll just call it a sprocket 100%. That's all. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I was trying to do. What did I have there? Oh, I guess boots would be good. There we go. It's usually how I have it set up. Okay. With our newfound fairies in the bottle, talk to Minda and warp to Castletown. Run into town as Wolf Link. I click yes, right? <laughs> Wolf Link and go to the south portion of Castletown. Go to Giovanni's house and dig in through the hole in the ground. houses. Is this Giovanni's house? Yes. Walk up to him and speak with him. With all 60 Po souls collected, Giovanni will return to his normal self. did it! Look at me! I'm back to my old self again. Thanks to you, everything in my life is coming up roses. Ha ha ha! Of- Oh, of course. I need to thank you. Please accept this. You got a silver rupee. Alright, I need to let my girlfriend know that I'm back. With all 60 postals collected, Giovanni will return to his normal self. Giovanni- Awards you with a silver rupee, which is worth 200 rupees. From this point on, whenever you speak with Giovanni, he will give you, he will give Link 200 more rupees. It hardly seems worth it. Well, you know what? I wonder what her expression will be when she sees I'm back. Do I have to leave and come back? I may as well fill up, right? Maybe go... Buy some uh, arrows and bombs. Oh, he's not here. What a crack. Oops, oops. 
Run to the north part of town and you'll see a cutscene of Hyrule Castle. I guess we should save. Okay, here's our cutscene. Sweet. Oh, but I'm gonna have to read, aren't I? Darn it. Maybe not. Hmm. see a cutscene of Hyrule Castle. Mendo will use the few shadows, fly and hit the walls repeatedly with it. A seemingly giant Midna will then awaken and use her power to destroy the twilight that surrounds Hyrule Castle. The next we see it begins to rain and Link is holding Midna in front of Hyrule Castle with the twilight now gone. Walk forward and push the door open to enter Hyrule Castle. It's the final chapter. Da -na -na -na. Dun -dun 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 -dun. 22.1 The last phase of the game is Hyrule Castle. And it begins in the outside courtyard. Walk northeast. I was starting to think that it was a <clears throat> pull, not a push. East along the stone pathway and a barrier will appear. Defeat numerous vocablins that appear as well as any Kargarok that fly down from the sky. As they have all been defeated, open the door to the northeast.
Want some? Get some. Do you leave me with anything? No. I didn't even get a full heart out of that. Crap. Arrows would be nice. Forgot about that. Okay. Run forward and a short cutscene plays. Another barrier is formed and a seemingly endless amount of bokoblins come dashing your way. Defeat them all using the spin attack when they are all bunched together. Once they have all been defeated, the barrier will disappear. Will it though? Will it? I am the groundskeeper. Uh, cut this grass, you know. Yeah. I'll stay right here. They can all come to me. Where I came in from. Run forward in a short cutscene plays, another barrier is formed. Blah, 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 blah. This battle with King Bulbin is identical to the battle in the Bulbin base. You can easily be stunned with a sword slash. The back slice and that helm splitter work wonders against him as well. Just keep nailing him with attacks and he won't even get a chance to swing at you. And where is he? He didn't even tell me how to get there. He's like... I hope I'm going the right way. Come to play. No oh, good. Nobody wants to play with me. Enough. You got a small key. This will open a locked door, but only in this area. <clears throat> I follow the strongest side. That is all I have ever known. And I swear. Maybe I... Hold on a second. Thank you. 
Sorry about that. Alright. Let's keep on keeping on. I follow the strongest side. That is all I have ever known. It still feels like I have food caught. Link! He... whoops. He spoke. Oh, okay. King Bulblin is finally fed up with being defeated and hands Link a sparkling small key. King Bulblin will say that he follows the strongest and that's all he's ever known. King Bulblin then proceeds to ride away. Minda is very surprised that King Bulblin is actually capable of talking. Run to the north end of the area and open the treasure chest to get a red rupee. Return back to the southern portion of the courtyard where you first entered from Castle Town. We got a red rupee. I like a heart. Pull one. Hey, there we go. Cool. And all the way back where we entered from Castle Town. We have to pull a chain to get through here. Walk to the north west area along the stone pathway and a fourth barrier appears. Defeat the book goblins as usual and then open the door to get to the west part of the courtyard. That's not where I want to be. I like it when I have full health. <laughs> there are a ton of book goblins that will come charging towards Link. Oh goody. There are also plenty of Bulbin archers that will shoot at Link. Defeat the book goblins and then use the arrows to defeat the Bulbin archers. Walk along the path to the west side of the courtyard and you'll eventually reach two Bulbos that are to the east. Jump on top of one of the Bulbos and all you need to do is ride right into the fences and the bubble will crash them down. Ride to the northwest part portion of the map or right to the towers and the Bulbin archers will crash to the floor. Expect me to go? Mm, we got rid of the archers. Ah! 
can't get through any of that. Where did it tell me to go? Oh, right here. Okay. I'd like more arrows. to stand out. That makes sense. Um. At the north end of the courtyard, there are several spinner panels on top of the pillars. Oh? Probably need to break through more stuff though, right? Do you stop? These guys are such a pain in the ass to control. Like I needed the spinner. I need the boomerang. So I just need to make a zigzag here. Can't I lock onto that one? Use the Gale Boomerang to get rid of the leaves and it will show the correct pattern on the floor. If you look at the ground, it is in the shape of a Triforce. The six intersecting points represent the six pillar pillars with spinners. Use the Gale Boomerang to hit the spinners in the exact order they appear on the map. Doing so will open the gate. Yeah, here to here to... Okay, so maybe I just need to stand in the middle. Because I couldn't hit one of them. Oh, I can only place five. I'm gonna 
that to that. doesn't hit all three of them. My bad. You got the dungeon map. All right, cool. Five cores. We're going to four, one, and two. There's somewhere we haven't been in one. There's two places we haven't been in four, one. All right, whatever. Run past the open gate and you'll see a treasure chest. Open it to get the dungeon map. Turn to the right and you'll see a tall ladder. Climb up the ladder to reach what is the second floor of the courtyard. Follow the path southward and you'll eventually come to a small treasure chest. Open it to get a yellow rupee. Drop down and return to the south part of the courtyard. Does it always have to rain? We can't have a dark battle with someone trying to rule the world when it's nice out. It's always got to rain, right? Part three of chapter 22. There's only five parts. Okay. Looks like we got a long way to go though. Probably a bunch of pictures. Walk out of the room and change to Wolf Link. Walk near the right side and right side wall and use your senses to find a patch where you can dig underneath the wall. Out of the room and change the wolf link. Walk near the right side wall and use your senses to find a patch where you can dig underneath the wall. On the other side you'll see a short cinema of the area. The right wall of the castle maybe? Yo, what's up, Kiani? Mm -hmm. I look different. What do you mean? Whatever are you talking about? Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to be? <laughs> it says to walk near the right wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
gotta mean of the castle, right? Yeah. Yeah, we just got done with the Cave of Ordeals. We got all 60 Poe Souls. We got all 24 Golden Bugs. We've got all 45 Heart Pieces. I'm ready to finish it. But the problem is, the guide's kind of half ass telling me stuff right now. That's the plan. 100% at the day. I, I just don't understand what I'm missing here. Open it to get a yellow rupee. We did that. Drop down and return to the south part of the courtyard. I'm in the south part of the courtyard. So far the courtyard. Darn it. Just took half a heart from me. Alright, you know what? You guys suck. Stop. Stop attacking me. I'm trying to read here. No respect, these guys. Walk out of the room and change into Wolf Link. What? Walk out of... Like, out of the castle? Probably have to be a human. I hope that doesn't reset everything. No. No, I gotta be inside. Where the hell are you talking about? Walk out of the room. What room are you? Some people just shouldn't read or shouldn't read. Okay. Write guides. Is there a place to dig anywhere over here? No. <laughs> How's your day going, Kiani? Anything special going on? You're enjoying the first day of spring? That would have been my right when I came out of here. I walk around the right wall. Go for uh, the two speaker? I'm still having internet bugs. What's a Ditto speaker. You know I'm saying that wrong. What is that? Sorry you're having internet bugs. You know what? We found a key. We're just gonna go... How about we go through here? We have a key. Little speaker which looks like a mini computer. This shows pixel art. That's cool. Maybe there's a place to dig over here? I don't think I'm where I'm supposed to be. Good, there's more. There's always more. 
Oh, bogus. You're not supposed to be here yet. Walk near the right side wall and use your senses to find a patch where you can dig underneath the wall. On the other side, you'll see a short cinema of the area. Walk over to the eastern part of the area and you'll be confronted by Stalkin. By the gate, you'll be... you'll be find a Stalfos. You'll be find a Stalfos. Beat him as well. Walk by the northern wall and you'll see a very tall tree. Use your senses to see soldiers pointing at the ground. Transform back into human form and use a bomb on the rocks to find a switch. Step on... Step on it and the gate nearby will open. Walk over to the open room while defeating the Stalfos along the way. Open the large chest to get an orange rupee and the two small ones to get 21 more rupees. Light the torches close by and the rain outside will stop momentarily. Quickly run over to the east side gate and light the two torches there to open the gate. Take out the dominion rod and move one of the statues over to the southern wall where we enter the area. You'll find two indentations on, in the ground. Place one of the statues in one and then repeat the process with the other statue. Climb up the steps on the left side wall. Use the statues to make it across to the other side. Pull back the chain at the top of the gate. Open the chest inside to receive a small key. Now we have everything we need to progress inside the castle. We'll dig back out the way we came in. Inside the room where the dungeon map was, Climb up the ladder for a shortcut back to the other side of the area. Ignore the book goblins and Boldwin archers and use the door to get back out. Walk all the way over to the middle of the area and up to the front entrance to Hyrule Castle. If you need to get any potions or items, now is the time to do so, otherwise enter the castle. Okay, so yeah, I'm not supposed to be here yet. I need another small key, apparently. But where the hell are you talking about? And I'm supposed to go big. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come back to the center? But it said to go to the southern part, so this is the southern part. I'm supposed to find a place to dig. about to go to YouTube and see where it says to go to enter the graveyard. That is not what I told you to do. Can I dig here? No. YouTube and seeing where the hell this entrance is. Twilight Princess. There's a C in Princess. Did you know that? My thumb didn't. Um, Hyrule Castle. Graveyard. The castle graveyard is a location in Twilight Princess. The graveyard is situated in the eastern section of Hyrule Castle.
uh, with its entrance only accessible by digging in a certain spot near a Triforce symbol on the ground where the small windmills are. Okay, so it's not... it's where... back where we were. So that must be for the, uh... The Wii U then, because they said that it's reversed. Yo, what's up, Clueless Gamer Girl? How you doing? Good to see you. Why did you guys come back? Oh, probably because I left the area, right? I am great, thank you. Just, uh, trying to finish 100%ing Twilight Princess. And the final castle. Oh, come on. Hope you're well. How's your first day of spring going? Um, we're close. Oops. We have every post sold that we already turned in. We have all 45 heart pieces. We have all 24 golden bugs. So all I have to do is finish this castle and we are done. Oh, bogus. You're working as always? <laughs> Someone's got to. to exit. This guide has been wrong at least six times now. Walk over to the eastern part of the area and you'll be confronted by Stalkin. By the gate you'll find a Stealthos. Defeat him as well. Everything's coming to life. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hit him with that? Come on. I didn't buy any bombs. Okay, that'll work, right? Look for the northern wall. And you'll see a very tall tree. I see two very tall trees. Which one are you speaking? That one? Okay, that one looks taller. Maybe because I'm closer? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Use your senses to see soldiers pointing at the ground. And this should be over here then. Is 
There's a bomb on the rocks to find a switch. Step on it and the gate nearby will open. I don't need to drag anything over here. Maybe not. Uh, walk over to the room while they're feeding the stealthos along the way. Open the large chest to get an orange rupee and the two small ones to get 21 more rupees. That was over here, right? Where did that just open? Crap. <laughs> oh, over here. Okay. Not what I wanted you to do. No, no, no. We got an orange rupee. Woohoo! Be nice if they'd give me some bombs, too. Torch goes by and the rain outside will stop momentarily. Quickly run over to the east side gate and light the two torches there to open the gate. I'll be quick with it. Funny how a torch stops a uh, rainstorm. Take out the Dominion Rad and move one of the statues over to the southern wall where we entered the area. Oh no! Sorry, I missed the lemon. <laughs> I missed it, I missed it, I'm sorry. Uh... Go to the southern wall. I think that's a switch. That's not a switch. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe it is. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to have it. It wouldn't soft lock me like that, would it? <laughs> What it? the steps on the left side of the wall and use the statues to make it across to the other side. Step on the left side of the wall. Uh-huh. Here, maybe? Can you really not climb up there? Oh, 
Are we talking left when I'm facing it? Ah, there we go. I was waiting for steps to appear, that's why I was confused. Like, wait, I just put statues there, shouldn't something happen? <laughs> you can get up, that'd be nice. Okay, okay. You can do it. Son of a... Yay! Thought that was treasure. It's a chain to pull. Pull the chain at the top of at the top to open the gate. Open the chest inside to receive a small key. Now we have everything we need to progress inside the castle. So. Dig back out the way we came in. You've got everything you can out here. Now get in the castle through the front door. Okay. It says we came in right here. There we go. Yeah, that is so picky. Uh, inside the room where the dungeon map was, climb the ladder for a shortcut back to the other side of the area. Ignore the book goblins and Baldwin archers and use the door to get back out. Walk all the way over to the middle of the area and up to the front entrance to Hyrule Castle. If you need to get any potions or items, now is the time to do so. Otherwise, enter... The castle. At the two point four. We're gonna end up beating this today. We're gonna have to find something to play tomorrow. We might do a Kaizo. I have had no word from One Frame James. I have no idea how close he is to finishing Rocket's Concord. Did I just grab a spike? Oh. Um. Use the small key to get in here. Any hearts or arrows or bombs? Arrows, okay. castle and using the small key you got earlier to enter the castle. Run forward and yet another barrier is formed around you. Defeat the army of bokoblins that come charging at you, then defeat several azalfos that also come charging at you. After they are defeated, the torches in the room will light up and a treasure chest appears at a higher ledge. Alright, well we already did that so I'm hoping we don't have to do that again. But I do need to take a quick break. I will be back in two minutes. Alright, sorry about that. Up back through. And...
area. I walk to the northwest area, and there are a few steps that Link can climb. I said, hopefully we don't get hit here again. We already did that. Northwest, okay, and there's things that we can climb. Yep, yep. Hmm, actually, let's go back over here. Like full health, please. Please. <laughs> mm. Or not. Anything over there? No. Okay. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to use a claw shot. Do so, and then use the claw shot. Damn, I'm good. chandelier drop down and open the chest to get the compass that must have been the treasure that opened when we defeated the enemies huh you got the compass sweet use the double claw shots to grapple across several chandeliers to reach the northern balcony and go through the door wait go through the northern door Walk forward and you'll face off with another dark nut. Battle him just as you've done before, using your sword techniques when applicable. Once you defeated, once defeated, a treasure chest appears at the north end of the room. Stand at the area just below the treasure chest. Look at the wall at the east of the room and you'll see a lit torch. From this ledge, use the gale boomerang to pull out the torch and the ledge will rise. Open the treasure chest to get a purple ruby. Not what I wanted to do. Those guys aren't that bad, honestly. What? <clears throat> Stand at the area just below the treasure chest. See a lit torch. Use the gale boomerang to put out the torch. Hmm. 
the ledge will arrive. Uh, liar. I need to light the torch. Does rise when that's out. Oh. I can't get that one to go down. A purple rupee. Okay, you can travel either east or west from here, both of which lead to the same destination. The west path is easier as you'll only fight a few Denolfos and solve a simple puzzle. However, the east path will lead to a few bonus treasure chests. Go east into the next room. straight and maybe on west. No, I went east. Okay. You can travel. Oh, wait, wait. Defeat the two Lizalfos that protect the door. Pull out the arrows and shoot down the ropes that hold the two paintings on the west wall. Crystal switch that's behind the north painting and the gate will open. Fire. Hitting the second crystal switch causes yellow choose to fall towards you. Uh huh. Oh, I guess that was north. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Go through the door to the south. Run down the hall and you'll find two more dark nuts. Defeat them both using similar methods. Equip the magic armor if you're having trouble. Once both enemies have been defeated, two doors will open up. Go through the one at the northwest part of the room.
I was blocking the wrong one. Alright, if you would do what I tell you to do, what I tell you to do it. Messing with you, dude. I could get them to separate each other, separate from each other. are good too. I can't destroy that. Oh, I bet you I could if I used the ball and chain. Uh, go through the one at the north west. That's where we came in. That's west. No, that's east. No, that's east. Turn to your left and there's a treasure chest here containing a purple rupee. Okay. Got a purple rupee! A step on the switch that is between the two torches. And another treasure chest appears at the balcony to the northeast. The treasure chest contained a silver rupee, which is worth 200 rupees, but you have to go through some trouble to get it. You must drop down to the floor below and then target the low hanging chandelier, then target the chandelier that hangs above the treasure chest. You cannot get back to the southeast ledge from here, so you have to go back through the passage to the north. Silver rupee. Oh crap, but that's up here. Hit 
Uh, if you decide to get the treasure chest, navigate all the way back to the room with the dark nuts and then go through the door at the southeast part. That's back, so I'm gonna have to go back over here. Definitely take more arrows. Okay. Oh, I'm way down here. Oh, okay. You decide to get the treasure chest, navigate your way all the way back to the room with the dark nuts, and then go through the door at the north, sorry, at the southeast part of the room to get back out in the courtyard. I feel like we're almost done. Yo, what's up, Xerxes? How you doing? Yeah, there's just a lot of pictures at the bottom of this. We're almost done. We are almost 100% through Twilight Princess, Xerxes. So close. So close. I'm glad you're all right. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Getting things done. Run forward and you'll see a gate with a treasure chest behind it. Several enemies come running out and multiple Bulbin archers appear. Before Link can even battle them, they are all seemingly defeated. The resistance group that had gathered in Telma's bar have come to help Link. Put the enemies out of the way, run forward, and open the treasure chest to get the big key. I'm glad you're doing good, Xerxes. Today's our first day of spring here. Is it the first day of fall for you? You got the big key. Use it to gain access to the lair of this dungeon's boss. Oh. 
Oh, come on, give me two hearts. Or one. <laughs> one works too. It is the first day of fall. Nice. Hopefully the weather is nice out there. It's windy here. We're supposed to get rain starting tomorrow. And then what is tomorrow? Tuesday? And then Wednesday rain all day. And then Thursday scattered thunderstorms in the morning. So... Yay! Spring! <laughs> Although we've had thunderstorms just a couple weeks ago too, so... I guess it doesn't matter. Run back towards the door, but now head up the path to get to the front side of Hyrule Castle. I was hoping for more pots to bust open. You'll notice there is a locked door nearby. Keep running to the other end and you'll see a second treasure chest on your map. I do see that. Run towards it and a barrier blocks your path. Fairly overcast and probably going to rain later. Sweet. <laughs> Hopefully just rain though, not a storm. I don't think I have... No, I do not. Get up. We'll see. You guys aren't flooding anymore, are you? Hey, we have full health. Uh, defeat the Aerophos that appears and then run to the treasure chest. Open it up to get a small key. Return to the area where we passed over the entrance to Hyrule Castle. There's a locked door here. Use the small key to get back into Hyrule Castle. Don't I have a key though? Yeah. So what I need. Okay, that unlocked over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. I want to mine some more bombs. I used all my bombs and arrows and rupees and A cave of ordeals. They haven't given me a single bomb in here. Not one. Okay, back this way. Over here. Thankfully not. That flood was a once in a lifetime event that had never happened here before. Oh wow. Well, I'm glad that it's done. Oh boy. 22.5, the final section of the final chapter. It's the final chapter. Da -na -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. Uh, transform into Wolfling and defeat all the ghoul rats that attach themselves to your body. You'll notice a bunch of ghost soldiers standing around which are quite helpful. Many of the blocks in this room will cave in once you stand on them. However, the soldiers uh, will point in the direction where the blocks are safe. Just look to see in which direction the soldiers are pointing and follow straight ahead. Go straight from the first soldier until you reach the second soldier. Repeat this process for all the ghost soldiers in the room until you reach the west side of the room. West side? Uh, don't get me wrong, some roads had flooded previously, but nothing like that. Oh, gotcha. Now there's going to be so many places that won't be able to get flood insurance. It'll be ridiculously expensive. That's unreal, isn't it?
my grandparents dealt with that in southern Illinois. A river flooded that never flooded before. And they ended up losing the house, but um, they ended up getting paid the price of what the house would have been. They, the county bought them out or something like that. Um, okay, we're at the west side of the room. Do I just go up the steps? Kind of scary. But that was a hassle for them, you know, so I can only imagine like what people like that would go through. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll let you rebuild. No, we'll give you the money to rebuild. No, we'll let you do it. No, we'll just buy you out. I think that went on for like three years. The other thing that I can say is that it demonstrated that areas that will never flood. Hey, there you go. Where you need to move, right? <laughs> now walk up the narrow broken staircase. At the top, another barrier will be put around Link and two Lizalfos wait for you. Defeat them and continue up some more broken stairs. I need to use the small gratings that cover the little torches. Hook over from torch to torch to get past this section of broken stairs. At the top of the steps, another barrier appears. Be two more Lizalfos that wait for you. Well, I guess I can go back to human form. Oh, oh crap, that was close. Also say that the best advice I can give never accept or buy out or settle. It might take longer, but the cost of rebuilding seems too far outweigh what the settlement will be. I agree. Um, I'm sorry, what? Holy cow. Okay. I tried to put the crappling notes away. Sweet. Take that. <laughs> yeah, I agree though. Definitely. It took so long to drive down there though. That was like a eight hour trip to get down there. That's where my grandparents are from, so we used to go down every year, but it kind of was a shitty drive. But I loved it down there. Once you were down there, it was just like camping because there was nothing there. I'm guessing we're doing this. Continue climbing the steps and there will be spinners on the railing. You will need to use your spinner to jump from rail to rail while avoiding the three spikes that also use the rail. At the top of the steps, walk forward and yet another barrier appears. Beat the dark nut that is here and the barrier will disappear. Before going through the boss door, enter the side door if you got the small key from the graveyard. Inside collect goodies ranging from 5 rupees to 200 rupees and various items including bombs, finally, arrows, and even Deku seeds. When you're done, open the boss door and head inside. Okay, here we go.
You see that? You see that? We one shot of that. That's right, baby. <laughs> For example, the average cost offered as the buyout for a lot of houses here was 200000 The average cost that the builders have charged seems to average 350000 Oh, wow. Certainly want to have to find it, right? Holy cow. That's unreal. Why didn't you spin? I told you to spin. I hate when you don't listen, Link. This is part of me. Oh. Yeah, 150 day. No way. I have a hard enough time finding not 150 k <laughs> Remember when you used to be able to dig through the couch and get change? Yo, what's up, Kai? How you doing? Good to see you. Can't do that anymore. Not around here anyway. Anyway, no one accepts cash anymore. They look at you like they used to when you would pull out a check. Ah, oh, you have cash. You got a blue rupee. 60 post old Sky. We did the or table of ordeals. We're in the final castle. We're actually at the boss room of the final castle. <laughs> Alright, so hear me out. <laughs> yes. I got to the final room, but I had... Purple Chew and one of the... Uh, bottles. I didn't know what it did, and I had full health, and I drank it, and it took me down to a quarter heart. So I didn't have enough health to get through the final room. But... I'm gonna count it. Uh, not to mention the amount of interest the banks would charge on the loan of rights. Uh, the reward is what? Fairies at Lanayru Spring? We got fairies everywhere else. And I filled our jars full of... Yes, we won 100% of this game. As soon as we get through Ganon, it's 100% done. <laughs> But yeah, the interest that they would charge? My god. Your $200,000 house just became a million dollars with all the interest. A oh, silver rupee! Oh, but it wouldn't fit. Bogus. 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 Oh, that one will fit. Okay. <laughs> what does that take us up to? 991. Alright. Can we get nine more to have full with our magic armor? No. I also know that interest rates are about to increase. I hear it's going to be something like 7%. That's it? What are you at now? My god, you live you moved to Chicago, it's 10.5. <laughs> Actually, I think they just raised it to like 12. I 
I think our tax on our food is higher than seven. I think it's eight. Okay. Uh, no, wait, does it say did I skip to you? Okay, when you're done, open the boss door and head inside. And now be back outside near the top of Hyrule Castle. Climb the steps of the castle and enter over a blue carpet. This is the same area in which that scene that we saw earlier in the game where Xant had taken control of Hyrule Castle. Link and Midna see Princess Zelda apparently asleep or dead. We then see Ganondorf sitting on the chair, welcoming Link to his castle. A rather interesting cutscene takes place between Ganondorf and Midna. Ganondorf is the final boss of Twilight Princess. He was the one behind Xanth and the one who has caused trouble throughout Hyrule. He comes in four different forms, Puppet Zelda, Dark Beast Ganon, Horseback, and Dark Lord Ganondorf. Oh boy, save. <laughs> save. And turn on the magic armor thingy. Well, I've got four jars full of fairies, so... I figure I'd wait for that. I used that against the Dark Nuts in the Cave of Ordeals, and it... It great, right? That depends on the type of loan, I'm talking purely housing loans. It's also difficult to say what people's specific loans are because it depends when you lock in. I also clarify that 7 will be the average. Wow. Wow. And they'll use your credit score against you on it too, I'm sure, right? either can't get one, or if your credit's just barely good enough to get it, you're going to be charged even more. Um, each of these forms will test you on the skills you've learned throughout the game, and we will help you use them to the best below. After a cutscene, Ganondorf puts his power into Princess Zelda, then the battle begins with Ganon's puppet Zelda. Puppet Zelda will float around the air and unleash three attacks at Link. The first is a simple sword slash towards Link, which can be easily blocked with a shield. If she hits you though, you will lose your ability to Z-target her for a second. Puppet Zelda will also summon a giant golden triangle on the ground. If Link is standing in the area that is affected, he will lose health. Puppet Zelda's most common attack is when she will hold her sword in the air and summon a ball of light. She will then send this ball towards Link, slash at the ball, and it will move back towards Princess Zelda. She will deflect it back towards you. Keep deflecting it, the ball back and forth, and it will eventually hit Princess Zelda. Be careful as the ball moves faster and faster each time it is hit back towards Link. Repeat the same process until you've hit Puppet Zelda three times with the golden ball. Slash at the ball. Okay, slash at the ball. Let's go. Midna will then use the power of the three key shadows to break the curse on Zelda, reviving her to her original form. Gandalf will then use his power to transform into the Dark Beast again. Okay, there's... Oof, sorry. There is... Phase 1. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Yo, welcome back, Yanni. So close. To find a boss. There we go. I'm surprised at how well that deer's the hand. 
They hurt after a while, I'll tell you that. I thought he was holding her. <laughs> Welcome to my castle. <laughs> Welcome to my underground lair. So you're Ganondorf. Dying to meet you. That is an evil grin, dude. Your people have long amused me, Minna, to defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. <laughs> pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. I don't know. The kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? Hmm? Me too. <laughs> Such conceit. But if you are one of the chosen wielders of power, as you claim, I will risk everything to deny you. Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. Wasn't he a pig in Link to the Past? Very well. Deny me then. Yes, try to deny me, you and your little friend. I feel like he was a pig in Link to the Past, and I don't understand why they changed it. Like you said, he looks really cool. But imagine a really big like, boar. <laughs> Cat. All she did was open her eyes. Oh, we don't get Minna's help in here. Got it. Both of you faithless fools who would dare to take up arms against the King of Light and Shadow. So you chose, and you sh to, and so you shall feel my wrath. No, thank you. No, thank you. I just need to hit an orb that she sends at me, right? There we go. Kind of cute. Electric cute. <laughs> I 
Oof. I honestly thought I was getting hit there. Come on. Throw your ball at me. I feel like I'm barely missing that, but I should be getting hit. Come on. I was trying not to double swing like I was the first two times. That was bogus. That was bogus. Swing your sword, Richard. There we go. <laughs> My God. So far, <laughs> winning. That's more what I was looking for. <laughs> Thank you, Mode. Yeah. The weak spot of Ganon is the shining silver scar that is on Ganon's belly. The battle will begin with Ganon running around the room, knocking down all the pillars that are in the way. Ganon will then disappear into a portal. Several red portals appear, but one of them eventually turns purple, and Ganon will come running out of it. Once Ganon enters a portal, keep your back against the nearest wall and pull out the bow and arrow. When portals start appearing close to each other and there is a pulsing sound, Ganon is coming out. Once he appears, nail him with an arrow right in the forehead. You'll be stunned so run over, run on over and slash away at his scarred silver belly. When Ganon is hit, he will sometimes come out of a portal from above Link and land directly on you. Just quickly try to roll around to avoid him landing on you. Just repeat this process a few times and Ganon will catch on. Now Ganon will jump into the air, uh, air when you attempt to hit him with an arrow. Switch to wolf form and wait for him to come out of a portal. When he comes close press A and a fight of power will start with Ganon. Throw him over to a side and from here you can attack his weak spot until he's finally defeated. Okay, so I need to wait until he catches on to me. Oh, I have the arrows. Yeah. Okay, so back up against the closest wall. Not what I wanted. No! No! <laughs> I didn't even see a portal. Oh, 
come on, keep attacking. Darn it. I forget what it said when he catches on what he's going to do. Piggy, piggy. Am I supposed to be using Wolf Link already? I bet you I need to use a wolf ring. You put me on your back like you normally do. I'll hold him back, Link. sometimes come out of a portal from above link and directly on you. Quickly try to roll out and avoid him landing on you. Just repeat this process a few times and Ganon will catch on. Now Ganon will jump into the air and you tip to hit him with an arrow. Switch to wolf form. Wait for him to come out of a portal. When he comes close, press A. Okay, so I need him to get close. Gotcha. that I could have used the arrow. We went out far enough to do what I was thinking. I was pointing at the screen.
I'm going around here. I gotta stay closer instead of putting my back to the wall. Where I need to be? I have no clue. I am so confused here. Press A and a fight of power will start. Am I supposed to hold A? Maybe I'm supposed to hold A. Huge difference between press and hold. The same. <laughs> That's another time that I felt like I could have used an arrow. I know, and I hit it, and then that happens. What am I doing wrong? I just tried to mash A there, that didn't do anything. Maybe I need to... Back as if I'm fighting them. I hit A first. Hit back. phases are there for him? Four different forms. We're only in the second form. I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. Just push A and wait for the next bomb. Crap. So good thing I have four fairies, huh? What did I do different the last time? I 
can't use the arrows anymore. Press A and fight. A fight of power will ensue. But it's not ensuing, he's just kicking me off of him. Now I need to be directly in front of him as well. At some point, Ganon will vanish whenever you fire an arrow at him. That means it's time to transform into wolf form. Although it may go against everything you've learned, face the portal he emerges from head on and let Ganon charge right at you. Press the A button when the indicator appears on screen and then hold the control stick left or right to wrestle him to the ground. Attack his stomach again to defeat the boar. Well, they gave me that prompt once. But it hasn't given it to me since, so maybe I just need... I need to hit A and then after A. I already used two fairies. I think I'm changing it too soon. No, this is bullshit. Them once. Get bent. That's it, Link. I'll take care of his attacks. You counterattack when he's down. Well, you're not doing anything. differently there to make it go to hold left or right. No clue. That was so jank. Good thing I had four fairies, huh? Hopefully we don't need both of them for the rest of this. Two fairies in one phase. What a crack. I once shot a 
pri princess. Hi. Hi. Say nothing, Minda. Nothing, Minda. Your heart and mine were as one, however briefly. Such suffering you have endured. Goody, it's just a face. <laughs> Too slow. Did she just warp us out of here? You little. <laughs> Princess Zelda, after some chit chat between Princess Zelda and Midna. Thank you for the G's. We're not done though, right? There's still two more forms we have to do. Right? <laughs> This one. No. Spirits of the light, wielders of the great power that shines far and wide upon the lands of our world. I have a feeling I don't have control of that. In my hour of need, grant me the light to banish evil. I did not have control of how fast that was. Chosen hero. Lend us the last of your power. Why? Why should I? I need those light arrows. <laughs> About time. I'll try to slow Ganondorf with my light arrows. You target him and keep him within range of my arrows. I only have one heart. I only have one heart. Now might be the time to put on the magic armor, huh? The battle begins with Ganondorf and it has a very similar feel to the first battle with King Boblin. Ride around the field with Epona and try to stick as close to Ganondorf as possible. Z-target Ganondorf when you are close enough and Princess Zelda will shoot a light arrow. Once she hits Ganondorf, he will be stunned. Quickly get over to where he is and slash away with the Master Sword. Just keep following after Ganondorf Z-targeting him so Zelda can stun him with a light arrow. After several hits, Ganondorf will fall off his horse under the ground below. He will then get up and begin mocking Link with a laugh. He calls it an impressive looking sword, but nothing more. 
Ganondorf then pulls out his own blade, and a barrier surrounds Link and Ganondorf. The final battle then begins with Dark Lord Ganondorf. Okay, so no magic armor yet. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's not how you do that. Run across. Wow. I mean, I just waste that. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm trying, I swear. <laughs> Impressive looking blade, but nothing more. Would you hear my desire? No. To take this foul blade and use it to blot out the... I can't read that fast, I'm sorry. Blot out your soul? Dot your eyes and... No, cross your T's and dot your lowercase... J's? Okay. What are we gonna do here? The battle is a classic sword fight. Don't bother trying to use the shield attack as it will only hurt you. The backslice is the best method for attack Ganondorf as he simply doesn't block it very well. Once you connect with a backslice, slash repeatedly at Ganondorf until he blocks one of your attacks. Show him your wealth? Yeah, I'm gonna have to, right? Uh, Ganondorf will do a variety of sword attacks, all of which can be easily avoided or blocked. One of his attacks is a massive sword slash at Link. The A button will pop up with the with chance written on it. Press A and your swords will collide with each other. Press A repeatedly and Ganondorf will be pushed away and become vulnerable for a few seconds. Slash away with your sword a few times until he blocks your attack. Just keep using the backslice to hit him. Backslice to your left on the Wii version because Ganondorf is left-handed and that will keep you further away from his sword. Another very awkward but effective strategy involves the fishing rod. Toss the fishing rod and Ganondorf will look at it confused for a second. Then quickly slash at him with your sword and you should be able to hit him from the front. Once he has been knocked down, target him and finish him with a final blow. With Ganondorf defeated, enjoy the lengthy cutscene. Congratulations. Yeah. Why are you doing the double? Why are you back flipping? Thank <laughs> you. 
Darn it. I hate those. I wish you would get closer to him so that we could actually hit him. I tried to finish him with the finishing block. <laughs> Come on. the chance oh this I keep trying to backslash he's not moving the way I want him to anyway though yeah bands I'm mashing a okay screw you we're not doing it then Do it though. Would you please do what I'm telling you to do? We just won. I think we just 100%ed Twilight Princess. Thank you for the G's. <laughs> Apparently I did have to hit the chance thing. It was a thing. <laughs> Cheers. Do not think this ends here. You know I know, there's a long franchise here. The history of light and shadow will be written in blood. I guess I'm just sticking out of your chest. Ooh. Yeah, give that back. That's mine. I guess I can put this down. 
think we're done. Another one bites the dust. Xanth or Minda. Yay, it's Minda. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't change it over to his... this stuff, you know? <laughs> what? Say something? No. Am I so beautiful that you've no words left? I don't know I ever talk. <laughs> I mean, sure. We did it! It only took 11 days. <laughs> Kawabunga. Huh? Kawabunga! <laughs> Thank you. We did it. 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 <laughs> Is there an after credit scene that shows us what's next? What's up for 100% next? Um, there's a lot of games on the lineup. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. Like I was saying earlier, it's supposed to storm all week until Friday. I don't know if I want to start something. What about today? Well, we've been live for four hours, guy. Four hours. Oh. <laughs> I know. Hopefully that means you're having fun, though. Time flies when you're having fun. Look <laughs> What's Giovanni's gap doing there? Is his girlfriend Telma? No. No, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll do a Kaizo tomorrow? But then that means that I gotta edit for YouTube. If we start Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, I need to edit for YouTube.
We could start Spyro, The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. That's also on the Wii. Spyro. <laughs> um, Horizon. see that I didn't hit anything in a while, it disconnected. I wanted to see what was going on with Kaizo Kong Country 2, as I haven't heard anything from James in a while, I don't know if he released it or not. I imagine he would let me know if he did. forward to Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance because I really want to play Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't want to start editing for YouTube just yet, especially if it's going to storm all week. User music orchestration. Okay. Oh, hey, that's where the mirror was. I guess this is farewell, huh? Light and shadow can't mix, as we all know. But never forget that there's another world bound to this one. Shadow and light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. I know, I know now the reason the goddesses left the mirror of twilight in this world. They left it because it was their design that we should meet. Yes, that is what I believe. Zelda, your words are kind and your heart is true. If all in Hyrule are like you, you're not, then maybe you'll do all right. Maybe. Thank you. Well, the princess spoke truly. As long as that mirror's around, we could meet again. Link. I... You're giving us a tear? See you later. Let's go get some Zelda clones. <laughs> Destroying the mirror? Oh, 
She destroyed the mirror? Coyote told me that she grows on me. She hasn't grown on me, and it's the end of the game now. <laughs> He's selfish all the way through the game, all the way through. Whoa! Uh, duh. Oh, more credits. Is there another ending after the credits? Do we get to see them? That deserves a round of applause. Really? It deserves a lemon? <laughs> what are we going to do next? Kaizo, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, Horizon, another Zelda game. There's so many to choose from, I don't know what we'll do next. What would you like to see next? Make a poll on Twitter or something. How do you do that? <laughs> it's a good idea. Do a poll. Kaizo, Horizon, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, the original Zelda. Or Spyro. The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. Why is the Master Sword back? Why is it back? Credits that never end. Yes, they go on and on, my friends. Reserved by Nintendo. Okay, cool. The and there it is. Fin. Benito. Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh, it doesn't even let me exit out of this. Okay, there you go. That's the true end. We're actually done. The end. Ta done. That was fun. I really like that one. I think that's definitely towards the top of my favorites. Skyward Sword HD is still my favorite so far. I'm guessing if I would have played it for GameCube, it'd probably rank a little bit higher, but it's probably Skyward Sword HD, Ocarina of Time, and then this.
Breath of the Wild's in there somewhere. I just don't know where to put it. All those damn Koroks. <laughs> oh, it does exit from that screen. Back to the intro. Okay, cool. See ya. Tears of the Kingdom? Eventually, yeah. I want to play all of the Zelda games. Solely the 900 seeds make Breath of the Wild number one. <laughs> Oops, I can leave that on. Let's mute that and go over here. And then I can turn the Wii off. Wii! <laughs> yeah, eventually we'll play Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if I want to try to stream it right away. Because we did uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge right away. And God of War Ragnarok right away. And it was cool because like no one could spoil it, right? Because no one played them. But I think a lot of people avoided the streams because they didn't want spoilers. So uh, how do you go with that, right? Like I want this to be a place to hang out and have fun, but I don't want people to avoid it because they want to play the game and don't want spoilers. So I don't know. I don't know. But definitely we'll play it eventually. Like I said, I want to get through all of the Zelda games. We've done Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Skyward Sword HD, Twilight Princess, and Link's Awakening for Game Boy. So, how dare you, Siciliana? How dare you? The blue and red poster here. Yeah, Carnage and Venom fighting. Hulk, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, a bunch of enemies. Spidey, bunch of Marvel, Spidey. And then the one behind me is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, Superman's Funeral. Batman, Flash, Wonder Woman, Robin, Aquaman, and Green Lantern carrying Superman's casket. And then a bunch of DC heroes and villains in the background. Gnarly. How was your day, Siciliana? We just 100 percented Twilight Princess. To done. Trying to figure out what we'll start tomorrow. We have options. Loki, very nice, very nice. Those days are good. Your cats aren't wrestling, destroying the house, putting out a show for you. I don't know if I should keep the Wii hooked up and play Spyro. Although I've got one, two, three, four. Oh, I didn't even turn these on today. <laughs> we got five things plugged into one outlet. Maybe I should disconnect the Wii. That's a fire hazard, right? You don't know? Ah, sleeping all day, huh? Sorracha? Fire? All right, I think we're going to call it here. Um, maybe I will 
take you up on that, Keani, and try to do a poll on Twitter. I've never done one, so I don't know how to do it, but I'm sure I could figure it out. See what game will start tomorrow. But we will definitely be here tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central, for something. Maybe I'll even put the Mohawk up. Maybe we'll play something and I'll put the Mohawk up. It's been a while. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all the love and support. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.